Hi, I'm Peekaboo Street. I'm here with Devin Silver Medal women's slope style skiing debut here at the Olympics. <laughs> Tell us about this experience. This has been a crazy experience. I, it's dreams come true. I've dreamt of this day for so long and just having a medal around my neck, I'm just so honored and happy to be standing up on the first podium making history. <laughs> I know, huh? So how psyched are your brothers right now? They're really excited. I think it's the first time I've made them proud before, or actually say I'm proud of you. So that's uh -oh. it's an accomplishment in itself. Did they then say something that like grounded you after they told you yeah. they were proud of you? Yeah, and yeah. then I asked them if I could be, go filming with them. They're like, all right, we're gonna have to think about that ah. one. So you get the good and the bad. So oh, your brothers, they got to keep you in check, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> so I understand your brothers are who taught you how to ride. You've basically been riding with them all your life? Yeah, I just was following them around in the park all the time, wanted to do what they were doing, and I think they wanted a little brother in themselves, so they just <laughs> took me under their wing and was like, you're doing this, like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right on, well. It worked. <laughs> I was going to say, it seemed to work out. Yeah. So um, you've relocated to Park City, Utah. Mm -hmm. You call that home now. And how much confidence did having a park like that at home to, to go back to and ride on um, give you coming into, into Sochi? It was amazing. Actually, our last two qualifications were in Park City. Exactly. So I was able to go sleep in my bed and yeah. just have the comforts of home and uh, know the park really well. And um, the course was amazing. They built. I ride Park City, built one of the greatest courses this year, so it was a great lead up into X Games and then coming to Sochi. So what's next for you? Um, how long is it before you get to actually celebrate that and enjoy? Do you have to go back and compete some more right now or do you get to go celebrate? I'm done as of right now, so I get to nice. relax and cheer on the rest of my friends for Team USA and hopefully see some more gold medals being won. Um, and then, till then, hanging out. I'm going to go to France in March and do some fun competitions. Uh, there's a, actually a tribute to Sarah Burke competition oh, in teens, great. so I'm really excited to go and uh, ski with some girls there. And you were good friends with Sarah, right? Yeah. Okay. And that, that Sarah Burke has um, passed away in a training session. Mm -hmm. And um, were you there? Uh, I was there the day before. I was actually flying back to Vermont the day she uh, got injured. All right. Well, but it was, she um, was skiing with me out there. So. I was going to say, from mm -hmm. what we understand, you dedicated your victory or your silver medal to her. Yeah, definitely. She was skiing with all the girls out there. I'm pretty sure she's pretty hyped that a couple Canadians were up on the podium as well. So She might have a little something to do with that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so who is the coolest person you've met at the Olympics so far, and who are you looking forward to meeting? Uh, well, you, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I mean, you, were, you were up on my wall since I was six years old. I wanted to be Aww. an alpine racer because of you, and then my brothers told me they disowned me. So I went the freestyle route. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a chat with these brothers of yours. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is definitely one of the biggest highlights. Cool, thank And then, you. Um, yeah, just meeting, I met some hockey players. I'm actually going to go watch uh, the men's hockey versus Russia, which I'm really excited wow, about. Wow, that's yeah. a hot ticket, girlfriend. Yeah, so Enjoy I'm, that. I'm excited to go just see different events and just experience their moments too on the outside perspective. I'm so glad you're staying to do yeah. that. A lot of people bug out and, yeah. and I'm, I know you're anxious to get home and to see your family and get big hugs. What's it been like to have your mom here watching you compete because I understand it's been a long time since she's been able to come watch you race. Yeah, the last time she probably watched me ski was two or three years ago and having her at the uh, bottom of the course saying she's proud of me no matter what was amazing and uh, she actually couldn't even watch me ski she had the mom fears every yeah. time she was on camera she'd just tuck her head away turn away from the course but um, it was awesome after everything was all said and done went up to her and she gave me a big hug and she started bawling yeah. <laughs> there's no crying in skiing though I told her that <laughs> don't cry <laughs> because she was gonna make you cry that's what yeah, you she did to stop. she made me tear up a little bit but it's yeah, awesome it's having her here and experiencing the day in the life of me. <laughs> well, enjoy the next days in the life of you. <laughs> Thank Be you. Be careful in Vegas. Will do. Happy 21st. Thanks. And I don't want to read about you in the papers for any other reason than this, okay? You won't. <laughs> I All promise. Right. Congratulations, girlfriend. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for coming to see us. Thanks.